All right, we're gonna go up to the Necropolis Church now, so follow me down this path. Let's see where it leads. Ooh, this looks like the tree obviously got uprooted. So this path, it's been well-worn. This looks like it was an old waterway, something that came through here. Knowing the Romans, they had water going everywhere. So let's go up into the church from the temple. Now the temple is not the kind that you think. There are probably statues in there. There are most likely statues in here. All the statues have been removed to the Antalya Museum. Wow, this is pretty big up in here. This is amazing stuff. These trees again are falling over. It's cool. There have been statues here all around. Made our way under, I made my way crawling around on some rocks. These are very unstable. Let's go and see what is here. This is just begging to be explored. Looks like, oh, this was a two story <clears throat> building. Not sure what it was. I'm sure they've dedicated it to something, but definite rock collapse here. I can't go much farther without really falling around. Let's see if we can make our way back. Instead of going under, no, I think I'm going under, something like that. Going over might not end up in the right place. So let's see what we can do on flexibility. Ah, prickers in the leg. Okay, hopefully they didn't stick too deep. There's definitely prickers here. And again, the tall grasses. Really watch your footing when you come out here because these rocks are, if anything, very, very unstable, as you can see. There's pretty much nowhere you can go. <laughs> that rock isn't moving under your foot, so pick and choose your battles. Oh, see what I mean? <laughs> nice teeter totter rock. This will test your balance, so if you have bad balance, stay on the path. And that went down farther at one time too, based on the fact that there's possible windows and doors here. Got a feeling we're looking at the beginning of an underground area. Ooh, shade. It's not too hot today. It's only about 90 so far. It's probably gonna go up a little hotter. Pretty cool, pretty amazing. And I'm wearing shorts, it might be advisable to wear some kind of pants. 
that don't allow prickers to go through. Oh, we're not going through, but either that's waterway or underground entrance. Really can't tell, and I can't get a whole lot closer. This is kind of blocked off. I'm not walking through that spider web, but it looks pretty neat. We're standing inside what's left of the old church. And this was pretty big. This is not a small area. I got a feeling this held quite a few people. But again, there weren't that many people supposedly up here. So again, it's hard to tell where any walls were, but there's a lot of collapse and a lot of filling. But based on the height, I can see what looks like windows up here. It's pretty neat. And the Agora is this way. Just underfoot, I noticed what would have been part of a wall, obviously broken off now for the millennia, but I'm guessing that maybe was part of what was here and now is not. All right, we're gonna try to get to the archways. We're gonna see if we can do it and cross down through this path. May not be able to make it, but that's part of exploring. Sometimes it's just not doable. Let's see, let's go underneath. Watch this sharp thing. Oh, I'm gonna get down on my hands and knees and crawl under my backpack, let me. Alright, let's see. If I could strap my phone to my head, it'd probably be a whole lot easier. <laughs> let's take a quick walk through here. Again, the rocks ooh, underfoot are really loose. Everything moves. Including me. To bring you these fun videos. So you don't have to come and do this unless you want to <laughs> and have at it because this is definitely an adventure oh i see signage down there i see paths but i don't think we can get there i'm just gonna go up the rise a little bit more let's see oh here's an archway which means something goes underground oh what do we got here Hey, check it out. Oh, this is definitely not for me to go down, but it goes down there uh, two to three meters at least. That's a door that goes maybe that way. Maybe it was through the church. Again, I think there's so many things underground. This could have been a bath possibly, which means they would have had to have water. And again, this exploration, that's looking a little sketchy that way. I don't have the right kind of boots on for that. So we're gonna save that for another trip. All right. Let's see if we can do this. There's the Agora, the storage room down here. We wanna see if it's safe to go maybe this way. Let's see what we can do. All right, let's take another path down here. Let's see real quick if we can get through here. Nest about dead trees. Let's see what we got here real quick. I just don't know how safe this is, so I'm not going to... Ooh! Actually, I'm going to meet her maybe this way. Let's see if this is worth doing. Oh, this looks pretty cool. This looks like some kind of area, maybe a community kitchen. 
cooking now you know what i think there were statues in here this is all ceremonial area looking stuff again this path is maybe gonna get me closer i want to make sure i can get back up too so let's see all right we're gonna make our way down to these archways pretty sure these were not bridges Maybe it was storage, or it could be a main entrance to a bigger underground area. Because again, in my mind, that's what this was. This looks a little sketchy. There's a hole right up there that you gotta be careful again. I'm seeing path here. Let's see if we can go carefully through the grass. It's solid. All right, this is somewhat solid. Okay. Two years okay. I've wanted to come check this out, and here we are. So I'm guessing that these are original. Do not walk on these if you come here. If I ever saw a tourist walk on these, I'd scream at them. I don't care what language they say, because if you wreck these, they're gone. But it looks like there's some kind of carving in here, which tells me there was something sticking out. Maybe it was wood for a roof. Again, it could have just been storage areas, but why would you go through the trouble of building arches like this if this was not an entry to underground to go up into the hill where I also saw a depression right below that big colorful weed and that little outcrop, there's a drop down, maybe it's a cistern and it looks like something up here could be something deep too. Again, here's part of a wall. So maybe this is actually was part of a building. Again, just so deep of weeds. We'll come back in the winter and maybe the weeds will be down and we can actually see some more stuff. And we've had this place to ourselves in the morning. Just beautiful, absolutely amazing. Standing in the Agora, Seleucia. You hear these wonderful bugs. We are the only human beings up here in which was once an ancient city. Probably with a couple hundred, couple thousand people tops. 2,000 years ago, before that, there was probably other people from other civilizations who made this home, storage, living, working, having babies, falling in love, dying, getting buried somewhere in here. And it's all collapsed now. Not much left. There's another archway you can see, which means that goes that way into the storage room. There's arch here, so there is definite arches and people everywhere. Again, be careful when you're walking around with your camera. I'm not actually looking at my phone. I'm actually watching my footing because it gets steep really, really fast. And there's no cell phone signal or service up here. You get hurt, you're gonna have to wait till the next people come by, which could be a long time. Again, there's the Mediterranean way out that way. All right, so that is Libre Seleucia. I'll leave some cool information in the description. And if you ever get to Turkey and down to Antalya and down towards Manavgat and Side where we live part-time, you get to come to places like this and walk on thousands of year old stuff and check out little lizards running under your feet. <laughs> the only thing that's not here are cats. So, but again, look at this wall. This fell down. This is untouched. This is how you know people didn't come here hundreds and hundreds of years ago because 
what we're walking on was probably all up this way. Back in the day, this stuff would have been picked up and hauled away and put into their buildings. So again, you wanna see archeology span somewhat untouched, get up here and check it out. All right, it's getting hot, time to go home. We'll see you online soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Definitely share the video with some of your favorite explorers. See you soon. Take care. And what's amazing about these aqueducts is that's in the middle of a valley and it seems to just dead end right there.